Papa and Mama Subaru are just so, so wholesome, goaded parents in anime, man. Usually, you know, parents in anime. Mom is usually dead from a backstory because her hair is always in the braided one way, right? And then the dad is just usually just a deadbeat that just doesn't exist. But Subaru's mom and dad, they're so supportive and positive. And it's kind of ironic that, like, this supportive, positive parents kind of created this... This loop of Subaru feeling guilty and wanting to just, like, be shit on and wanting some sort of punishment from mom and dad and be told that, you know, just give up, just stop fucking doing all this shit, right? And he felt more and more as he procrastinated, like, it's like falling in at a quicksand. And that's what's going on. He, con he continuously got, like, compared to his dad. Natsuki Kenichi is going around pulling numbers of, like, gals straight up he was like talking to a senior high school girl last episode getting her number it's like you have a wife bro but he's such a goaded character that subaru can't like live up to his expectations so he decided to like be the class clown and diminish other people's accomplishments and think that there's other ways to you know get the attention but as he realized that at the end of the day you're just just being a clown and no one's following you and you try too hard as you've seen in arc 2 as well where he tries too hard and it ended up being way too suspicious right he tried way too hard did the whole fucking pose at school high school debut was just trash and he just went this dark spiral and that pose that pose straight up is important it's not a random pose this is him trying to be like his dad. The dad is also very theatric, but there's a time and place for everything. And at the end, when he realizes like his faults and he's very like accepting of his own uh, flaws and moves forward, now he does that pose again, but this time it's different. This time it's like endearing. He has accepted it. It's like donning uh, the flaws and moving forward. So the pose, it's crazy that there's actual lore behind it. Mom was saying some sus shit. So was Subaru. I think one of the most important lines, I think a wholesome line was, um, parents don't have you just like for, with an expectation for you guys to do something for us. We had you because we wanted to do something for you. But beyond that, it's like, Subaru is a uniter, Pleiades, right? He says that he doesn't deserve this shit, but despite that, I will simply take people and at the end, I will give them a reason to be okay. So even though he fucks up from start to middle, as long as the end is good, you know, it's like, as long as the end justifies the means, it's all fine. Not completely, but there were some sus dialogues here and there to kind of highlight, like, potential flaws of Subaru's mindset. Maybe I'm reading too deep into it. I think that he's doing really well in the trial. The trial is all about overcoming your past self. And right now, we went to the high school. Echidna's there. She says you're honestly, like, on a fast track. Amelia, I don't think we can really say for her, though. I think she's already failed. Let's begin today's reaction, though. Sup? Riz. God damn, he's so cool, man. I'm getting wet. Recreating from your memories. Dream realm. I don't know. Okay. Is this similar to how like Satala has like a shadow garden, some sort of like dark ethereal realm? Is this like I don't really know like Echidna's tea party place. Like it's like it's like their souls are there, but it's some sort of ethereal different plane of existence. It's not a physical location, it's just like this not a spiritual realm, but some sort of like soul society. <laughs> mm. Remember. Forgotten, right? Important shit. Why? Pact. Pact was made. Remember? Echidna says, not in the anime, when the cut contents, you have a pre-existing pact, so you're gonna be fine with it. Implying, Subaru already has a pact, but he might have forgotten about it. Who does he not know? Satala. Satala apparently visits him multiple times in the Shadow Garden Ethereal Realms over and over again in Season 1. And Subaru has this feeling of inexp... In like, he can't understand why he loves her. Meaning... And again, it's from Subaru to Satala. After he dies in episode 15 by Puck, he literally has an indescribable feeling of love towards Satala, but he doesn't know. And Satala says, I love you. She always says, not just yet. So it seems like a pact was made when the loot seller, remember? First run, loot seller dies. Satala probably gave him the regression power. But during the regression power, I bet that was a pact. Maybe this is also like, <laughs> I don't know if he has a witch factor of envy. It's got stimulated, and the whole regression power, return by death, is authority of envy. I don't know, but he clearly has a pact before that, confirmed by Echidna, 
Memories are wiped. That's why he doesn't know Satala. Just kind of interesting to think about. It was quicker to meddle with your memories. So this proves that every pact is not the same in terms of erasing memory. She intentionally erased the memories because she thought it was more convenient. But you could still assume that Satala may have done something similar. I don't know. There's... I, I'm not letting this theory go. Flying colors. Clutch, bro. Ace this test. Echidna would have 100% made fun of a slap pillow in season 1 if she was there. Memories. Thank you. We got closure, thanks to you. Maybe he didn't want to believe that and suppress memories. She knows everything. Multiple echidnas. Jesus. Sugoka. You witch. Yeah. Blessings mentioned! Divine protection! Subaru has the divine protections of mom and dad. No. Yeah, and like we got our closure, but in apparently Subaru's mom and dad are trying to look for him right now. They're worried that their kid is gone. What could have happened? That's actually so sad to think about. But hey, hey, wait, 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 wait. Don't be sad. Let me cook. If there's a way to come back home, I don't know. Satsula probably knows how. If she brought us here, maybe there is some way. Let's just think. Fuck it. Let's just think there is a possible way. If he ever returns home, it's going to be as soon as he leaves the 7-Eleven before he disappeared. Therefore, all of the mom, dad looking for Subaru shit, gone. Perfectly fine. It's gonna be fine, guys. Don't worry about it. Nice. Nice.俺は二人に全部になんか惑わされてやらねえよ。この試練は終わりだ。次の質問に期待したいところだね。次の質問、お子じゃないのか。墓所の試練は全部で三つ。Three I mean, shit, Amelia couldn't even pass one. She got to pass three? Well, if we pass it, maybe that's good enough. I wonder if that's good enough, actually. Doki Doki? Alright, where are we going? Oh, we can rest for a bit before next time? Equal rights means equal lefts. Fucking, let's see if a super is a true feminist. It's still, thank you for the opportunity. Aww. Oh, he going the high road. Wow. Natsuki super are looking real nice right now. A kid that respects that. We scare the witch of greed, man. Hmm, I mean, it, it is kind of crazy how, like, Echidna, Subaru's dynamics, the whole whatever relationship they have, from the beginning, it feels like he's had command over it. Because of how disinterested he seemed and how thirsty she is for gr knowledge and kind of lonely. And we're kind of like, not playing hard to get, but, you know, the first run, we just run away. And, and she was like, wait, don't leave me, blah, blah, blah. So, like, and she thinks that, like, she, he's super special. And she knows about, like, his timeline. Remember? The whole comparison with Echidna and Orsted? Let me let, hear me out. Orsted and Mushoku Tensei supposedly knows the events of certain characters in different timelines and how they should have progressed. Eris is, your, is already stronger at this point compared to before. Paul should have not had a son, right? Echidna doesn't know shit outside of the world because 400 years ago, she died. And this is her sanctuary. So she doesn't have any idea what the fucking cult is or archbishops. Yes, she knows about Subaru. Why is that? Connection to the fucking witch probably with Satala, right? There's got to be some sort of connection there. But she said that you are like 
at a place where like you're exceeding expectations right now. Emilia. Emilia will. Okay. Yeah, she's wearing a uniform sitting in classroom. Isn't that weird? You think that this is a contradiction? When she brought the classroom and the outfits from Subaru's memories? No. I think that this is very consistent. She has no knowledge of the outside world. She's stuck here for 400 years. And the memories here are simply due to Subaru's. And we're out. What about Amelia, though? Yeah. Memory's kind of hazy, but Echidna. <laughs> Emilia? Emilia! <laughs> He's cooked. Frozen Bond was so depressing, but like... What happened before Frozen Bond, you know? Because like, Frozen Bond was sad as fuck, but like... She went berserk and froze everything. Before Frozen Bond. So like, in that path, like... What's going on there, you know? Emilia! Hey, I'm Ooh. Yeah, and you instantly lost. Oh god, that's a look of terror. Oh, she is... She is traumatized. The teeth? Oh my god, this is the worst I've ever seen Amelia. It's that bad, huh, the past? It wasn't me. It wasn't me. About freezing the whole people, the elves, everything. Remember, she went berserk and presumably froze everything and then was like sealed away and then Puck saved her after, but like, she feels guilty. That must be the event or something else? I don't know. There's something fucked up going on with like the guilt that she faces and how like, don't look at me, it wasn't me. But hey, thank you, Mr. Meliodas, for the. Raid man, hope you guys had a good stream. We're watching Razor right now. Hope you enjoy this shit. But what the hell is going on with Amelia? The past. It wasn't me. I'm just gonna assume it's the whole freezing incident that she feels guilty is about it. <laughs> father. <laughs> the father Oto-san is Puck in that context, right? It's not like she was referring to her actual dad. And then saying Puck twice. That was all consistent Puck? Maybe? She, never, oh, she also said... Ram? Good for Amelia. Talk to Ross while you're... Yeah? Yeah, yeah. their soul can't leave. No, 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 the soul literally can't leave. So Oto doesn't know that. We saw the image in the Ennius video about how there's a barrier. You try to carry Emilia's body out, the body can leave. But the soul stays here. So yeah, this is the cut content for that. Honestly, good idea. Here's the lolly baba. Soulless shell. Elf lolly baba. Okay, that's kind of fucked up. A cold drink is kind of funny because of the shock, but that's a hot cup? Jesus Christ, fam, that's a bit too much. <laughs> so traumatic. What a pathetic excuse for a man. <laughs> and Garfield's getting horny listening to these insults, bro. Oh? Oh, no, no, no. It seems like Ram is actually playing defense for us, man. I think that Ram just, like, saved Subaru from making a mistake in front of Lolly Baba. <laughs> Ram is the best girl, bro. How does nobody recognize her greatness? Sure gratitude for me for making a drink by every last drop. I just found some fucking leaves and I boiled this shit. You better drink this shit. <laughs> 
as we can see. Though hmm? so I am old and frail as you can see. Yeah, I see that. Yeah, you definitely, you don't look older. You, you literally look like nine years old. You're not even 10. You're not even double digits, but I'm sure there's a fucking reason. Lolly Baba. Yep. <laughs> After Ram says, don't make any, any offhanded comments, Subaru immediately says, Lolly Baba, calls her a fucking hag. Amazing, Subaru. <laughs> The soul comes out. なかなかにそうじゃな。結界の外に出ることは she did say she picked the random leaves in the ground and boiled it. So like, what did she expect, Garfield? <笑>どうにくさで入れたのかよ。汚染する資格が根血ってことなら、リューズさんやガーフィールも挑もうと思えば挑める。可能じゃな。じゃが、正規の解放はできる。それはこの地に面々凍結される。82円の契約や。Cont
maybe she's giving us nice hints. I don't know. Like, we shouldn't trust anybody. Archbishop of Lust. <laughs> no. <laughs> the real village elder, though. The real village chief. All right, Amelia, good luck. Oh, boy. How's it going there? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> yeah, she is. Yeah, strong, capable girl, right? I think Garfield really respects how Ram, like, matches or even, like, surpasses his aggressive aggro, right? He, he likes being told what to do by Ram. We don't want to shorten that for Morlock to be a whole day sleep for the rest of us. I think this is more like ReZero folklore phrases that I'm unaware of, like the ladybug shit from Break Time. Meet Frederica. What do you want to do? フレデリカはどう思ってるじゃいねえのかよ。なまち。詳しい話はできない。お前のことも話せないせいや。契約け。てのいい言い訳だぜ。これのしそっくりじゃねえか。サウンドサクダンマスター。Who but the instructions in the letter, it's all from Roswell, 100%. And she even made it a specific comment about, now I've done what it's according to my master has told me to do, right? Before they left. <laughs> O2. Sanctuary versus Amelia. O2. Emilio! <laughs> What's going on, girl? What did you just say? Still just learning that you cannot lose your right to undergo the trial is something. You cannot lose... As in like, even Amelia like fails over and over again, she still has the qualification. So this is like extra data points, I think, right? うん。そこに信用私の懐を甘くないから。Everything I did in season 1. I ain't doing shit, bro. I'm sitting here. I intentionally went into the trial and got myself fucked up so I can't do anything. You figure it out, motherfucker. You figure it out. And, you know, when you get more data points, I'll regress back with you until you fucking figure this shit out. Roswell is getting hard carried by Subaru. This is my theory, bro. Yup. Regressing back together. Test rat, bro. So he just... I love how he just says this shit. He's just like, yep. I ain't doing nothing, bro. You figure it out. Help my ass. Dude! All right, and listen, I'm really trying my best to theorize. Sometimes there's meme theories, but this Roswell theory, I don't think is a meme theory. When I say Teresia took back shots from a beast man because Wilhelm was being unfaithful and didn't say I love you, and that's why Lai Barkentos has the blessing of the Grim Reaper as a descendant, and that's why Wilhelm's wound was opening. You know I'm joking, right? There's some lore accuracy here and there, but I'm reaching. This partner in crime? What is a partner in crime? You literally committed a crime together and it's a secret you're trying to keep. What is the secret? The regression? Exactly. You keep contradicting yourself. You say you're trying to help. But every time you're never there, you are actively MIA, partners in crime, Subaru and Roswell. Even, bro, the fucking memory snow. I'm gonna make a separate video about the theory more in depth with actual examples of pictures. Memory snow, a Suba wall, snow statue, half Roswell, half Subaru. I don't know, I just feel like they're soulmates somehow. <laughs> mm.
What do you mean I was doing? I publicly stated it. And then I fucked off. So that you could defeat the white whale and save Amelia. It's all according to the plan, right? <laughs> oh, it's that theme again. It's that theme again. It's the fucking mad clown theme again, bro. These Subaru Roswell scenes are so fucking peak. Like, anytime Roswell's in scene, I am so fucking locked into everything he says. Let's play the mad clown soundtrack. Let's go. Yeah, you did. As a <laughs> yeah, Ram and Roswell, they share a very, very tight bond, right? She's on his lap, getting like head pat. Like, she, he tends to her like fucking horn slit, right? With the mana. So, like, of course, Ram will always, always be on Roswell's side right now. <laughs> what? <laughs> Rem mentioned. Then you're fine with Rem being sacrificed for a stupid reason like that. Oh, now who's Rem? Who's Rem? Stranger. Media様に開示すべき情報を隠してきたのか。なぜ私は来たるま屋敷に不在であったのか。いずれも答えは一つだ。と退治せずに済むように。He straight up doesn't want to go against the witch's call. He's like, nah, I'm good. I don't want anything to do with those motherfuckers. You handle it, all right? You did this shit. I'll support you sometimes. He's doing it. He's fucking doing it, bro. He's fucking doing it. Intentionally, right? Again, the whole theory is he can regress back with Subaru. This motherfucker is fucking regressing back and letting Subaru always solve shit by himself. Oh, so nice I mean, is he wrong? He's right. And now if he can, if Amelia can overcome the trial and lead the villagers of Arlon back home, her reputation gets even better. He's also made Subaru so capable. Like, everything he's done has helped us. But goddamn, it would have been nice to have some a little fucking support, bro. But you're not. Right? Because you did it. And you being in front of me right now is proof that my plan is working. You have solved it every time. Anything in your power is for Amelia so because Razo believes in him. How? You think that he would just randomly believe a rand- like, like, think about this, right? If we were to believe that Roswell can't regress, he, someone so cunning and so strategic, would have just utmost faith that a random fucking neat from Japan, a foreigner, shows up and just solves everything? Ain't no way. Ain't no way. He has to fucking know about the regression. Everything. Rosal, you're kicking me out, bro. Come on. But like, this conversation just solidifies my theory more and more, as in how much I believe my theory. Right? All the details, it's impossible to get everything perfectly, but I, I feel like I'm still cooking somehow. The fact that he knows about the regression, that he too can regress together, and in each timeline, he lets Subaru be the lab rat, figure shit out, and while Roswell doesn't get his hands dirty, Subaru is Roswell's must 
like number one knight. Literally the perfect fucking pawn, like the perfect tool. <laughs> All according to plan. Accomplice. Partner in crime. We share a secret. <gasps> I am nutting, bro. I am fucking nutting, bro. Holy shit. L subs? No, I don't think so. I think the subs was actually amazing that it said partner in crime first and then had accomplice to further support both of it together. By having the term accomplice there rather than repeating having redundancy, it creates a much more dynamic experience. Now, holy shit. Holy shit. All my guesses about Roswell knowing, it seems to be closer and closer. But how much exactly does he know? Because again, this is not a random dude. He's not a random guy just going to the fucking casino and just betting everything on black. No. He's an extremely cautious person. Extremely cautious. Very, very intelligent. He intentionally removed all the fucking maids at his place and only placed Rem and Ram before the selection was going to happen to get rid of the liabilities and potential corruption to make sure that his security, his, his inner group is tight as fuck. He literally fucking... In the royal selection, I don't know if you guys know about this because it's cut content, but you know when Subaru fucks up and Roswell smiles in season one? Roswell actually shit on Amelia in, in the uh, royal selection and said, uh, you know, you guys are in queue and it's only, you need five players to play this game. There's only four people, right? So like, uh, you know, Amelia is just like the fifth filth. Who, who cares if she's a half devil, right? And Subaru got pissed off. Roswell smiles. Then Roswell wants to correct Subaru by challenging. Al Goa, Puck shows up, saves Subaru. Both of them display strength to kind of show the rest of the people how strong they are. But it was all an act. And at the end of the day, it kind of took the heat off of Melia and made her look good because now it's like this genuine nice girl wanting equality and peace while also having, you know, Roswell and Puck and shit like that. Like, like this, this guy is schemer. He does not randomly fucking YOLO bet. And think about it. If your life is so fucking sacred and precious and you only have one run, what, would you ever act like this? I find it hard to believe. But this dude knows that Subaru can regress and that he can regress too. And he uses Subaru to fucking do it every time. Partner in crime, accomplice, they share a secret together. How much does he exactly know? I'm not sure. But this whole conversation just like gives me more hope that this theory maybe is like close to being correct but goddamn the roswell scenes the whole mad clown soundtrack it's just like <sighs> man man it is fucking hype dialogue is just so hype i don't need fucking fight just put roswell in there with mad clown music playing it's it's, it's on another level oh two yeah, you can repeat over and over Again. <laughs> the stars, constellations. <laughs> no, that baka is actually good. You hear that sometimes in a rom com scenes. I think that was a good baka. <laughs> you can do it, Amelia. <laughs> also, is there any fucking astrologists, some constellation star people in chat? Can, can we do some schizo theories about how the stars that's showing right now and pointing towards Amelia has some fucking meaning about her overcoming the trial or something? Like, I don't know, space stars constellation? Like, this is an intentional frame to highlight Amelia's struggles and she'll overcome it? I could see that because it's fucking ReZero, you know? Right. I'll believe you. That's good. That's huge progress between these two. Emilia and Subaru. Honestly, Emilia started off being like Subaru's emotional support when Rem went away in the beginning of the season, but now it's more of Subaru kind of being there for Emilia. So the relationship is, I think, deepening, definitely bonding more and more. Patrash. 
なる2日かエミリアが結界の外に出られない限りって分かってくれた僕の見立てだと彼はこっちの言い分に商人のくせに人を見る目がねえねペトラスペトラス臭いおまじないねペトラに出発前にもらったんだフレデリカが新しいメイド新入りに悪さを働くなんてありえない、okay. そこまで下道に落ちるはずもない She is still fiendish, but not to that degree. By my own, you know, my Frederica no go to Shinji de no, Shinji de Naino, Dotchina, Chiranai, Demo, Frederica, Frederica de Arcoto, Utagara, no den. Another message. What is it this time? Frederica to I Taisu Tayorina Sai. So she call you no. Rosuara, Stumon was shiro to it. More questions. Just the more we get, just more questions. Next time we go to Biko. Ask Biko. Rosal told me to ask the question. Okay, what question? What is the question? Sigma, Sigma on the wall. Who is the scabbiest of them all? Hmm. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Bitch, you need the blessings more than I do. You and I both know this doesn't fucking do anything. Don't lie to me. May the blessings of the spirits be with you. You know this, nothing, nothing fucking happens here. This shit's fucking just as useless as Petra's fucking white fucking handkerchief here, bro. No, but that's not the point, right? Subaru can clear it, but the goal isn't to clear the trials. It's for Amelia to clear the trials, to overcome her own past, and then to have faith be earned from the villagers, right? That's the whole point here. Mm -hmm. Look at him. It's looking up like impo impossible. Garfield's so nice, man. Look at that. I can't stand to watch it. Garfield's actually a softie inside. I don't know. The teeth clackering was so sad. It's the Sony again. The crystal shit. Okay. So now we're going back and delivering some people. I'm kind of confused about what's going on because they seem to have skipped a bunch of shit. But it seems like Otto did get to talk to Roswell and there was some intro shit about how he's a reasonable person or something. And now the villagers are allowed to, some of the villagers are allowed to go ahead because obviously, you know, humans aren't really stuck here. It's the demi humans, right? So now Subaru will take the villagers out and we go back to the mansion and we ask Bieko about. Roswell told me to ask the question. That's what's happening. Garfield did it? Who, who did this? Otto was talking to Garfield? Okay, okay, okay. Not Roswell. Okay, that still hasn't happened. Got it. Convince Garfield. Got it, got it, got it. Thank you. And we're back. This lighting with the credits showing up does not give me hope that something good's gonna happen. <laughs> Because, like, when the credits start rolling and the episode hasn't finished, it usually means some fucking insane shit's about to happen. <laughs> and, 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 then, and then the blood <laughs> sudden it's sudden, it's like, oh, oh shit. <laughs> oh, shit. Is Petra gonna have her eyes gouged out, dude? <laughs> Patrash! <laughs> dude, Patrash knew! Patrash fucking knew, bro! Patrash said, don't go in there, Super Roof! Don't do it! Dude, this lighting, this lighting, bro! Oh, shit! <laughs> Petra! It was Petra's eyes gouged out. Lena. Lena. 
All the doors are open. <laughs> what did we slip over, bro? What the, did we just slip over fucking Petra's dead body? What was that? <laughs> I don't know. It's kind of too dark to tell. Blood, 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 blood. Is that our blood? I can't tell if that's our blood because we were running, running, running and it, we tripped on something, right? I, I can't tell what the fuck this scene is. I, I, I don't know, but like, if you look at it, the gut, the gut, and you know when we did our first ReZero opening? Right? Opening 2 had Elsa in it. And I was like, oh shit! The hot girl from opening 1 is still here. So like, are we gonna get the reintroduction of Elsa, the Battle Hunter? It's intestines I think we're seeing, right? Yes, these are all intestines. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's Elsa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was there. She fucking ambushed us. That's the exact same dagger, the same similarity in the northern provinces as Reinhardt said. The Bowel Hunter is fucking back. Why am I so excited that Subaru just died? Because the fucking MILF is back, bro. Yeah. yeah. That is so fucking aggressive oh my god give me that lick do that tongue thing and he's dead a step forward and a step back oh man i wanted the fucking tongue to do the little flicker bro I like, I, like i wish she fucking licked her lips there bro <sighs> that's the episode damn my favorite part of the episode still is 100 percent the dialogue of Roswell and Subaru, man. Roswell is just like hinting like you are like the windfall of hope that I've been waiting for. You are someone I trust. You are my partner in crime. We are accomplices. And I'm like, oh, shit. dude, this fucking mad clown, dude, it's dialogue. Roswell is so fucking hype so i need to definitely make a separate video before we no i i need to make that theory now right I'll, I'll make a separate video for it i think that we have enough evidences at this point like who knows if next episode they're gonna actually fucking tell us about the secret but like goddamn bro like ew, like using subaru's elaborate the entire time just because he had faith in him in one fucking run no shot she knows bro he fucking knows bro um there's some sad stuff, I guess, about Amelia. There's some weird characteristics. Not characteristics, an interesting line she's saying, right? Her teeth, like, clacking in fear was actually really hard to just... This scene is like, oh, bro, I feel so fucking bad for her. She has this guilt, right? It wasn't me. Father, Puck, Puck, it wasn't me. So I'm gonna still guess that this has to do with the guilt she has for freezing everything when she went berserk in the past. Like prior to Frozen Bond is my guess. Um, the Ryuzu stuff, I'm not really sure what the fuck is going on here. She's like the lolly baba here. And the reason why, you know, other demi-humans can't, you know, uh, clear the sanctuary is because of a contract they made from a long fucking time ago. Ram has some peak moments. Super was told to by Ram that, uh, and if Roswell specifically told us to do it, absolutely. This is like Roswell kind of giving us a little guide, right? I think this is straight up Roswell giving us a little push in the right direction. Go to Biko and ask. Roswell told me to ask the question. Oh man, but we don't, we can't even get there because Elsa is fucking already there, bro. And if Petra's eyes are gouged out yet again, like there's gotta be something different going on. And that's it for me. If you're still here though, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.